Hello Twin Flames, this is Jennifer and I'm here to do a reading for you today. Uh, what they're telling me is it will be a message from your person but I'm open to do whatever comes through the cards. Um, so I am going to do a collective reading in the beginning for everyone and then I will do the piles as I shuffle <clears throat> the messages come through. Um, also, I want to thank everyone who's reached out to me lately about getting readings done and um, tarot card readings, um, energy clearings, space clearings, and SRT work. I am very honored to be doing that that, that kind of work, and um, I do channel for Deep Soul Connections and Twin Flames. And if you want to work with me on that level, I'm going to put a link to my Fiverr um, gigs. Also, you can just contact me if you want something specific, um, different than what I'm offering. You know, you can you can buy the uh, soulmate reading and, I, and tell me that you're in a twin um, relationship and I can do it for that. Um, and otherwise, if you need something like a custom order, just go ahead and message me and I will send you a quote or talk to you about what you need. So I do want to start off today by saying that um, what's coming through for me this morning very clearly is that the mirror, this reverse twin mirror is being held up quite the word that's coming through is opaquely. So there is a recognition that um, the mirror is you and you are the mirror, but it also is that they can't, they can see themselves, but they can't in you. Does that make sense? Um, they recognize that there's a polarity there, but they're not sure exactly what to do with it. And in not understanding what to do with it, it has um, caused them confusion about if they're responsible for the negative aspects of this journey right now. So I hope that makes sense. They are taking on... Um, A, a larger percentage of the negative aspects of what they're seeing right now and that's probably partially caused by the feminine being in such a high vibration so it depends where you are in your um, feelings but it is causing them to make it a different choice even though they're not talking about it um or wanting to make a different choice they haven't actually made the choice yet so um you know one of the things also that's coming through is that <laughs> they keep telling me they're thirsty they're thirsty they're thirsty they don't understand why they're not getting the attention that they once did. So it's thirsty in that way, but also they're thirst, they're having thirst to drink from the cup of love. So they want to have you, oh. I only have one tarot deck up here today. Wow, okay. Let me clarify with these then. And if I need some more clarifiers, I'm gonna grab another deck. <clears throat> so we're gonna have three piles. Um, They're telling me that for a lot of you, two of the piles will be relevant. So if you are called to two piles, then go ahead and pick them. I'm gonna get one more deck to clarify. And you 
can go ahead and meditate on these three choices. <clears throat> Also, the um, the wisdom of the crystals are coming through quite profoundly now. So if you have crystals that you're drawn to work with, I'm seeing, again, like I've been seeing kunzite for a while, amethyst, clear quartz, um, emerald, moss agate, or chrysocolla. Um... Watermelon tourmaline. So I'm going to clarify with these if I need it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick your pile. That's one, two, and three. And I'll get started. Hi, pile one. All right. We'll just know that your person is being very, very divinely guided right now. Um, as I'm talking about in the, I don't read these summer verse. Um, as I was talking about in the intro, there's this mirror that's being held up. You can actually see it actually like looks like a mirror right here, but they are experiencing this internal death right now, which is quite um, intense for them. It probably has stopped all communication for you at this point, or it's very limited because they are in the process of giving themselves over to this situation. Um, I hear a lot of you saying, yeah, that's, that is a miracle. Um, Yeah, they are transcending their ego. And it's just extremely, extremely psychic. I think this is my pal. Extremely psychic person, um, counterpart, mirror that you have. So if you have not developed your own psychic gifts, um, this is indicated here that you are a channel for spirit and that you probably work um, on the sixth ray. And... This, there's, um, you're probably a Pleiadian and there's, a um, quite a bit of water energy here. It's actually all water energy in Libra. So you're probably dealing with a water sign, a Gemini or a Libra. And, um, you know, you are this beacon of light. This is part of your mission you are being called in this, of course, unconditional love is what this is, uh, journey is about and unconditional self-love is wherever your attention is, is where the union's attention is or the other person's attention is. So get that attention on to you and start developing whatever you feel called to. Um, the gifts, the ancient gifts that you have are definitely being highlighted here um if you believe in lemurian atlantis these are being indicated if you have counseling skills emotional um you could even work in like as an emt or a trauma field or <sighs> other things that are coming up are like recovery work um EDMR, psychology, um, what else am I getting? You both will work in a field similar to each other and you both will complement each other and this will be your mission as you rise into this work here. Um, they're not ready to talk about this with you. They are not ready to have communication with you. They definitely will be coming into their King of Cups, but right now they have not transcended this. Um, they're trapped in their mind. So I am sorry to tell you that they want you to know that they're working on it because they are working on it. I, they may even be going through Dark Night of the Soul right now. 
and um, they just do not want you to reach out right now. They will tell you when they are ready, so do not worry. Um, and the more sensitive you become to them, or to yourself, sorry about that, the more sensitive you become to yourself, the more it will aid in this process for them. The more that you clear yourself, the more that you develop your abilities, the more it will help them balance this, um, what they're going through right now. And, you know, I would expect with this sort of energy that you're going to see like the normal divine masculine antics. And I'm not saying that without compassion, but that's just a normal, if you've been on this journey for any length of time, you know that they do these things. All of them do it. They go through these situations and, um, Ultimately, you know, it is for their own highest good because that's what this journey is. And, you know, we can only rise to which the lowest low we've gone to, you know, in, in that mirroring effect. So I hope I don't sound uncompassionate because I'm very compassionate to this journey and this situation, but it's just really really apparent right now like if you don't feel like this is what you're going through in this situation this is not your pile because it's so crystal clear what's going on here is that they are in the process of transcending their ego and understanding I mean there's several cards of rising up here and getting downloads and rising up so you know this is like heavy divine guidance and they would not be able to escape this at this time. And I will think that by the end of Scorpio season, they will be coming out of this particular energy, but some of them could take longer. That's for sure. Because the more that, you know, they resist, I think it could probably go all the way to Gemini season from what I'm seeing there. So I hope that helps you pile one. If you are drawn to another, um, Kyle, go ahead and do that because as they're telling me that there may be more than one pile for you in this particular reading and also if you're interested I do have um, gigs on Fiverr I did talk about that in the intro I can work with you as a twin even though they're not listed there just go ahead and message me and um, I really really thank you for subscribing liking and sharing and commenting it really means the world to me so um Thank you again. All right. Hi, pal two. Your card, your tarot. Seven of Wands. The High Priestess. Seven of Pentacles. Divine Wisdom. We have no in reverse. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't read these in reverse. No. Mirror. Keepers of the Earth. Inner Temple. very very interesting I would have liked to see that high priestess in the upright but you know this is very very interesting energy <laughs> um, heavy mirroring influence here and actually oh wow that's beautiful you can't really see it I got the horse card down here beautiful cards gorgeous gorgeous beautiful cards so as I talked about in the opening, I am feeling a heavy mirror. Um, today, you did get the mirror card under the High Priestess and Joy and Hot Pink. So, you know, unlike Pile 1, I do feel they may be um, further along on their path and they may be reaching out to you. I do feel like they are in... I, I do feel like they have accepted their spirituality and they are feeling quite a bit of love for you in this situation. Um, even if it's not 
they're not ready to move forward right at this moment. There's this heavy divine guidance, right? You have two sevens, the high priestess and divine wisdom, along with the mirror and Horus. And it's just intense, high level spiritual energy coming through. And I do feel like them they are having their heart awakening or they have had their heart awakening and they understand that you are connected to them and they like it. Um, the only negativity I see here is in this, which would be the past position or right now that they're coming out of, that they are getting finished having, you know, being conflicted about this. It may be in this pile in particular that your Divine Masculine is um, female in gender and that may be something new if it's a same-sex relationship or there may be something different around that that they've had to come to terms with in their own mind and Spirit has really given them some clarity that This is truly um, something meant for them. You know, I do see this dolphin here, and this dolphin is also, I mean, just the caduceus, the dolphin, the Horus symbol. It's really giving me these, a lot of roses, and there's this inner accepting. It's a, it's a heavy female energy too. Like when I say heavy, I mean predominantly female um, in gender. So whatever that is for you, um, if your masculine is male in gender, but more feminine than you are used to, or they are female in gender, or there is um, there anything along the spectrum um, that you're not used to. That's just what they're showing me, a discrepancy between gender and identity. And um, I don't, this is the first time a message like this has come through, so it's very interesting for me to see it from this perspective. And I'm not really sure how to tell you exactly what I'm seeing, except that they're a mirror to you and, and you also must accept this reverse aspect with, within yourself. Um, and that's important, but they have really begun to accept it and, and you are beginning to accept it. And this is what's going to really be very much a part of your journey that you know you are a gateway of this new earth that is um, helping people deal with gender identity issues and bringing them into the mainstream in a healthy balanced way where people can really talk about them and understand them, not be afraid of them and accept them as a joyous part of society. Um, because a lot of what fear is, is what we don't understand. And so in order to understand it, we have to have a messenger of light bring us new information that seems somewhat scary, I put that in quotation marks, because the fear associated with it is just non-understanding. So I hope that helps you. And if it's not, if it's not gender issues, it may be something related to women's health, women's issues, reproductive rights, um, or love in a non-traditional way, which often is the twin flame journey, right? age differences, cultural differences, um, any kind of differences, religious differences, anything like that. It may have something to do with those. Um, 
fostering the message of unconditional love for all humanity into our world. And, you know, rest assured on any level, however you're dealing with that message, um, that is the highest vibrational message of all, right? So that is a tremendous amount of work to do on yourself, on, on them, and they are recognizing this, and they are, it's extremely positive that they are up for this, and um, they are heading towards it at a very rapid pace. So hold your faith, and um, I would expect that you would get a little bit of flirtatious communication here quite soon if if that is your um story you know not all twin flames are in romantic relationships so otherwise it may be very very friendly and positive um movement forward so i hope that really helps you this is a beautiful message if it doesn't apply to you feel free to pick another pile and you may also be a combination of two piles in this if you need help with this because i do want to say that when you are channeling a lot of light you are prone to get attacked and uh negative entities on you a lot if you feel like you need help please reach out to me on fiverr and i can help you figure out what it is that you need to work on um so you can move forward and be this vibrational match for your counterpart and uh much love to you on your journey thank you very much i'm gonna go ahead and do pile three now hi pile three all right so we've had two very very different piles this one does feel different to me also very specific messages today well we love to see Daddy with a cup there, don't we? That's kind of the holy grail for messages from your person. So we like this. Even though they are blocking energy at this time. They are very much blocking their energy. So in your pile, <clears throat> they are trusting themselves. They are trusting. What is this message? Holy moly, I do not understand this. They're trusting themselves. They're trusting that it is time to move forward. They want to talk to you. They want. They have words to say to you. They know that you are psychic and not conflicted about this anymore, but they are still holding back. They're holding back their passion. What I do think that they're going to do, I do think that they are going to manipulate this situation a little bit <laughs> they seem very, very crafty. I'll have to say this. This does feel like Pisces energy to me. Um, what I think is going to happen is that they're going to try to manipulate you, the Queen of Wands. They're going to try to use a little bit of your passion against you. And they want you to know that they see you like the sun. 
and they are ready to <laughs> they are ready to confront the sun so let's not um, underestimate how difficult that might be for whatever reason for them in this situation you are the sun and they are the moon it may be you're a leo and they're a pisces or some aspect like that you may have really good sun moon sinistry um you know you might both have water signs in your sun and moon but anyway so they think they're being very very tricky and they want to come to you with some idea this is what i feel they want to come to you with an idea about, and I think they're going to try to use your spiritual nature as a kind of gateway to get to be spending more time with you or in partnership with you because it doesn't look like they're able to just come forward on emotion alone right now. They are cloaking their intentions behind what I see as um, either starting a business together or backing you in your business or you may work together already, helping you expand into either more territories or a bigger business venture. They may back you with money or they may say, let's be partners in our, in this healing, in this healing business, you know, something like a spa, counseling, detoxing, uh, psychic work, something like that. Um, and let's go forward and see how, how it is together. And I do get the sense that they are getting some visions of the future somehow, which is not a gift that everybody has, or somehow they're accessing the Akashic record. Either they have a friend that does it, or they know how to do it, or something like that. Um, but they want to form a bond with you that is not easily broken. So when they feel scared or conflicted or whatever it is that they're feeling, they can't necessarily just run away. So they feel like they're outsmarting you. This is such a specific message. I can't believe that it would apply to a lot of people, but they want to kind of trap themselves is what I'm seeing. They want to trap themselves by by looking like they're kind of like your pat Patreon or your hero or your champion. And, you know, they recognize that you are a counterpart to them for sure. Um, they know. They might not be telling you or they might be telling you, but they definitely know and they definitely are ready to move into the next phase, though I do not think it will be romantic with this person yet because you may be a little bit more intense than them in showing your feelings and being outspoken about the situation. Does that make sense? Um, Yeah, they're still scared. But eventually, you two will be these counterparts to each other as soon as you both stop um, guarding your hearts. So that's lovely. You're going to grow from the Queen of Wands to the Queen of Cups um, by manifesting. And they will be coming into the Queen of, I mean, the King of Cups. So lovely this is lovely it's highly watched over if you do feel 
a connection to unicorns, I would recommend you doing some unicorn meditations and bringing in that ninth dimensional, 12th dimensional energy because these are high, very high level. You know, you're working with very high level energies here too. And Isis and Lady Portia, who's the twin of Saint Germain and the violet, platinum, lavender, gold, silver flame, whatever you want to call it now. Um, you can work with that energy. You can work with your wands energy. You can also work with the unicorn energy. And I'm seeing strongly... Um, just not taking yourself too seriously, right? I think you have a tendency to be a little bit serious in your wands energy and being kind of fun and light and playful might help them expose a little bit of that cups energy. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, if you need more help than this um, and you want to do like a private session with me, I do energy work, readings, and all sorts of things, um, contact me on my gig on Fiverr and message me and let me know that you're a twin or a deep soulmate and I can get you set up on the right thing um, for what you need at this time, all right? I thank you for being here so much. I so appreciate you liking, sharing, subscribing. I hope that I've helped you with some information and um, on your journey. Lots of love to you. Bye.